In this video, we're going to cover how you apply powers to fractions, like in these three examples. The key concept to understand for this topic is that you have to apply the power to the numerator and the denominator separately. So in this first one, where we have 3 over 4, all squared, you'd rewrite it as 3 squared over 4 squared, which would simplify to 9 over 16. For this next one, where we have a divided by b squared, all to the power of 3, we just need to take this power of 3 and apply it to the top and the bottom individually. So a to the power of 3 on top, and b squared all to the power of 3 on the bottom, which is just a cubed divided by b to the power of 2 times 3. Because remember, when you raise one power to another power, you have to multiply the two powers together. So that will give us a cubed divided by b to the power of 6. And that's as simple as we can make it. Now, this last one is a little bit different because we have the same letter on the top and bottom of the fraction. This means that we can actually simplify the fraction before we apply the power of 3. To simplify x to the power of minus 2 over x to the power of 4, remember that it's exactly the same thing as x to the power of minus 2 divided by x to the power of 4. So all we have to do is subtract the two powers. So minus 2 minus 4, giving us minus 6. Meaning we've now got x to the power of minus 6 inside the bracket, and the whole thing is still going to be raised to the power of 3. So to finish, we just do x to the power of minus 6 times 3, which equals x to the power of negative 18. And that's everything for this video. So if you found it useful, then please do give us a like and subscribe. And thanks for watching.